All right, welcome everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, what we're going to do is um, give you an overview of my solar system that I've got completed so far. I'm still missing a couple of pieces, but we're going to get into that. Uh, today is a beautiful sunny day, and I thought I'd give you a sh uh, show you around, and uh, we'll see what we've got. Um, anyway, uh, as you have seen on the last couple of videos, we put together a battery pack, the Prius battery pack, and uh, I got it. Uh, I had a friend uh, help me bring it over here to the house. Yeah, 90 pounds. That's how much it weighs. Um, a little bit more than I can handle myself. So uh, anyway, um, and I got it all hooked up. And everything works. Oh, it's so cool. Um, gave me an opportunity to put some lights in this house. This is a house that I bought for a dollar. Um, and I'll get into a, another episode about how I did that. Um, it needs everything. Let me let me show you what it needs, okay? Oh, you're going to love this. Um, anyway, here we go. Um, if you can hear me, just fine. Um it needs insulation. This is the utility room and the mechanical's room. Here's my battery pack. I've got it screwed down to this 2x12. This 2x12 I found is the mantle on my fireplace. And oh yeah, by the way, here's a refrigerator. Uh, came with the house. Oh, you know what's interesting? I bought this house for a dollar. Listen to this. I moved this refrigerator and lo and behold, there was a dollar stuck underneath the refrigerator. Can you believe that? So really, I, I didn't pay anything for the house. It was a dollar, and, and I got that back. Anyway, here we go. I've got my, D, I got my DC bus bar hooked up. Not my bus bar, but my DC breaker box. Uh, here is a, a 50 amp shutoff going to the battery. And if you remember, oh my god, I gotta get down here. If you remember, right, I've got two bricks of 7.2 volts, and they come together at this point here where the two six gauge cables come out. Creates 14.4 volts. I haven't measured it yet this morning. Anyway, um, so I got the wires all hooked up. They're all running down a bar here. I threw some lights in. These are DC lights. LEDs. And then, of course, you follow that over. And they come down inside the wall here. And they come down over here to the light switch. There's my light switch. Anyway, turn it on. Whoop. Can you see that? Oh, look at that. Lights. I got lights in here. So anyway, what I did is I completely cleaned out the ceiling and the walls on this side. Everything was all ruined anyway. But this wall, this wall used to be over here a couple of feet farther. And I scooted it over after I got it all cleaned up and everything. I scooted it over. And um, there's a, underneath this window, there's a nook that I created. That's the exact size that the bathtub's going to fit in. And this used to be the old wall to the bathroom, and now it's all opened up. So now you got a bigger bathroom, which is more efficient, more uh, like modern way we do things, you know? Open things up. And uh, the water stack is fine. It's cast iron pipe. Toilet's fine. I'm going to make it a walk-in closet. A walk-in closet. A walk-in shower stall in the bathroom and then the sink will go over there underneath the, the window. Now that's a little weird because then you most people like to have a mirror in front of them so I'm kind of confused as to where I'm going to put a mirror. Anyway, there's not much room there. Just barely enough room to put a, a socket in there for charging your razor or blow dryer or whatever. Anyway, oh here's a little lamp that I found. That's going to be nice. So anyway, the, the, the floor is missing, right? I told you that the, the roof had leaked, right? But I've replaced the entire roof. And uh, so I took out the floor. I've got, let me go over here a little bit. I've got it, all the structure is there. I just have to um, 
there's a beam underneath there. I got to raise the beam up about two inches. This part of the wall is, is sagged down about two inches and it's not touching nothing. Not touching nothing. I got my foot right all the way underneath the, the wall there. So I got to get that straightened out. You can see the beam right there. Let me go in here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. Light switch. And lights. Ooh, awesome. I need lights because it gets a little dark back in here in this bedroom here. And see, the floor's all missing. I got all the lumber to put this back. What I got to do is I got to I gotta jack this outside wall up another couple inches too. Well, an inch and a half or so, something like that. This side of the house, this side of the house is all, the dirt's too far up against the outside. Um, and so I gotta dig it down for one thing, but the, the rim joist is all rotted and the sill plate's all rotted. So I gotta jack this wall up and replace both of those. That's gonna be a chore, but well, I'll get there, I'll get there. Then I gotta tear this, I gotta tear this wall all the way apart and get that all ready to go. Now, I think in the future, instead of a window here, I'm gonna have a sliding glass patio door or a French door. Probably a French door, it's more romantic, you know, it's better looking. Uh, going out onto a deck and then off the kitchen utility room there, I'll I'll um, put another deck on there, so a couple of decks. Um, my temporary kitchen, I'm going to give you some cabinets, put them in there. i got to redo the whole flooring anyway, too. So this subfloor, I mean, the, the subfloor was compromised in a couple of spots. We'll get that uh, fixed up. And then new flooring. I already got the new flooring that uh, I know what I'm going to get. And there's the old tub. Oh, I'll tell you what. This tub is interesting. See, this house was built quality. Okay? This tub is not a five-foot cast iron tub. It's a five-and-a-half-foot cast iron tub and it's not three-eighths cast iron it's closer to a half inch that sucker I had one of them trucker straps ratchet straps 833 pounds that it could carry because it's um it was only a two inch it's not a four inch right not a three inch but it was a two inch strongest one I could find for you know medium size 833 pounds it can lift up. I broke that sucker trying to get that tub out of the hole over there. I use my solar panels. Those guys, are, look at this. They're sitting in the dark in the back of the kitchen here and they're blinking. Look, they're, they're blue lights. They're working. Look at this. They're not even plugged in. They're working. I can't even believe it. Ooh, hang on. Don't get dizzy on me. I turn my lights on. And then here's the here's the glass for the bathroom wall. We're gonna get into that. Um, I'm not crazy about the door. I want to put a nice door in. And then eventually I'm gonna put in stairwell right here, going upstairs. I got plenty of room upstairs. And this bedroom in here, I'm gonna take away from that with the stairwell, right? Three and a half, four feet, whatever. But then it'll be the walk-in closet to the master bedroom. See? I got a couch. It's my furniture. Some lovely uh, patio furniture chairs. Whatever. So I had a... This same friend of mine, he helped me drag this sucker into the house. This is my wood-burning insert. Goes into my fireplace. Right? That mother is heavy. Now, it doesn't have any fireworks in it, so it could have been heavier, but uh, that sucker's a good 150 pounds. You know, and for two old guys that was trying to carry this sucker, that was something else. But anyway, try to guess how much I paid for that stove, right? It's fairly nice looking. It's all rusty. I got I to gotta sand it up, get the hinges working properly. And then I gotta build some kind of uh, fan system to blow the heat out into the room. So I'm gonna build something in my fireplace over there. As you can see, I've taken the bricks down. I've gotta um, re reconstruct it a little bit first before I put it in there. And um, it's only a couple of days away from summer, but I'm gonna get this thing working before you know fall comes. So I gotta get all sand up. I got I got some uh, black high temp paint to spray it up with so I gotta sand it down get rid of all the rest and then uh, paint it up anyway in the comments 
Uh, please. Try to figure out how much I paid for that guy. Somebody's going to guess it right. Here's all the brick. I got to put, uh, I don't know, four courses up on the on the mantle there, whatever. I mean the the lintel. There's my wood. I'm ready for winter. Jesus. There's all my wood. And then I got piles and piles of wood outside. Big bay window, highway going by. All those trees you see out front, they're all going to go away eventually. I don't get any more room to put firewood. But we're going to go outside. I'm going to eventually get grass out of here. That's all just a bunch of brambles, weeds. I don't know what all there is. And I got, you know, I'm in the sunshine. You can see water. There's water trickling down through here, and there's water coming over here. There's actually, I took these tins off of the roof that were in the valleys. They're all rusted out. And I made a path. My front yard here, going over to the highway, is uh, soaking wet all the time. 365 days out of the year. So what I got to do is I got to do a French drain going up and down the yard here, down into the corner over there. There's a pipe over there in the corner leading out. So I'm going to get that all... So I could do a French drain. I gotta make this level and put some grass in here. And then, of course, you've seen pictures of me taking out all these trees over here. That's gonna be my driveway. I trying to get some contractors over here with the tractor and dig up all the stumps that are over there. And um, and then we're gonna get a driveway put in. Now, this house. I don't want to get you into the sun here too much, but it's a quality house. Now, it needs a paint job. That's going to be in the morning bids. This thing here, per all the way around the house, 90 years old, and this is the original construction. It is perfect. Perfect. All the way around the house. Can you see anything? Anyway, there's my chimney. It's a beautiful chimney. I got some mill guard windows in. I got to trim around them. Firebox. I'm going to rip that firebox opening out of there and put a brand new one in there. That one's all yanked and everything. Here's a whole bunch of 4x4s. I tore the back porch off. It was all half rotted anyway. So, put in a new back door. Put in a deck that goes all the way around to the outside. And a, and a patio. But then, see, I got a whole bunch of trees in the back. I got to take them all out. There's my, all the trees I've taken down so far. I've cut up into firewood, and they're stacked up onto the tarp. Once I get my driveway in over here, I'm going to have a, a 20 by 30 garage. Stick a couple of cars in there or whatever. Have a workshop. I'll do all my cutting out there or something like that. And then, uh, oh, here's a fun project. I'm, I'm digging holes out here. find a septic tank. I found a cast iron pipe. That's cool. Then I get over here and there's a clay pipe, which is weird. Only because somewhere under here I've got a, a cement pipe. There's a, here's the uh, opening to the crawl space. And then, um, let me see my finger right there. Anyway, down here at the bottom is a cement pipe coming from the uh, water closet. And then it, it makes a sharp 90 down. I don't know how deep it goes. i got to dig that out. But anyway, oh, there's the rest of the house. Quick and dirty. It needs some work. i tell you what, though. See the sidewalk right in front of us? When I bought this house, I didn't know there was a sidewalk here. It was covered almost four, five, six inches deep in, in leaves and garbage and stuff like that. And I was digging out and I hit concrete. I thought, oh, my God. There we go. I'm going to turn you guys around here. Anyway, um, I found the sidewalk. I was hoping it'd be the the septic tank. I still haven't found that damn thing yet. It's there. So anyway, there's a quick and dirty of my house. Um, like I said, there's the. It's going to be solar power. I got at least. This is um. This solar panels are a kit. It's a Thunderbolt kit from Harbor Freight. They go on sale every once in a while. They're normally two hundred and sixty dollars. Um, I bought that one on sale. They had one of their sidewalk sales. Ooh, can't even see me there. I had one of their sidewalk sales. I picked this up for $160. So $100 off. 
I I luck out like that sometimes. I had this thing. Not to get too far off subject here, but I I um I bought this thing in anticipation of putting that on my RV, and then two years ago, right? This charge controller, I brand new out of the pack, Ziploc pack. I opened up the Ziploc for the very first time, pulled this out, hooked it up to my solar panels, and guess what? It deader than a doornail. Now, I, I'm 40 years in electronics. I, I know a little bit about how things are supposed to work. So anyway, I checked it out. It does got some voltage coming out. It's got about 25 volts it's reading off of the, um, the solar panels, and it's putting out about 3 or 4 volts out of the charging port for the batteries um that's not enough to charge i mean you could trickle charge a battery but it's not at the right voltage it's got to be at 14.4 volts or or 12 volts or better right um it's not doing that and then these red oh, these red oh, where you at these red buttons on top one one turns on the lcd panel it don't come on and the other one turns on the loads for the light bulbs, and they don't come on. So that one's junk. I got another one coming in the mail. It'll be here in a few days. So anyway, um, I can do all this stuff, right? Insulation, wiring, plumbing. I'm going to put pecs in here. It's real easy to do. It's a, it's a small house. It's um, 860 square feet. You know, it's a cottage, whatever it is. It's great. It'll be just perfect for me. Um, I got to put some of these walls back in. I got to jack those up a little bit. I got to replace the sill plate and the rim joist and, and on half of the house. That's ah, going to be a chore. So, but we'll get that done little by little. Like I said, I don't work for a living. Um, I'm comfortably retired and uh, I do this. I like doing this stuff. Oh man, I was tickled pink when I got this uh, electricity in. So, um, lights are ready to go. Oh my God, I'm loving it. Lights. Um, I just got regular little LCD lights right now. They don't put out a lot of light. They're only at 5 watts. Um, I was looking at some on Amazon, um, probably in 11 to 12 watts a piece, and they flood the, they flood the room with uh, a lot of light uh, because they're about the equivalent of a 100-watt light bulb. So that'll be fine. In the bathroom here, I got two of them, one over the bathtub, one over the sink. Um, and in the middle of them, I'm going to have a fan. So, you know, all the regular stuff. So we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. I just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, the one thing that I wanted to, to, to impress upon you is that we got the battery hooked up and it's like, it's working. So I've got, uh, a, like I said, I've got a, um, charge controller coming. It's going to be up here. And then I've got an inverter in storage somewhere it's going to be tacked under there now this is just temporary on this board what i'm going to do is that i'm going to have plywood on this wall and then there's going to be a wall right here behind the refrigerator there's going to be a wall going around the refrigerator it'll be tucked in its own little nook for the kitchen um and that'll be all plywood so this this wall here behind the refrigerator is all going to be electronics it's going to all be my electrical system my solar system and then the other wall is going to be plumbing. I'm going to put my filter system in there. I'm off grid. Um, so this will be a fun project. And uh, I invite you all to come back and look at it as we uh, build it little by little. Um, it'll be great. It'll be great. All right. So um, thank you for coming. Uh, please check out my other videos. And um, if you haven't already, you know, hit the like and the subscribe and, and hit the notifications. It'll, it'll let you know when I get another video posted. Hopefully I have a couple more here um, coming up in the next week or so. And um, we'll see you on the flip side. Thank you. Bye-bye.